um, uh, decisions, and I promise you we are very well underway in making sure that we change our country. We have always, I promise you, all leaders in Kenya, they know what should be done. Everybody knows what should be done. But it never gets done. So this time around, we are going to be intentional. We are going to be deliberate. Because we must do it. Yeah? We must do it. Let me give you an example. All of us, in the two main formations, we had identified housing as a very important program that will do four things for us. Number one, it will make sure that millions of Kenyans who live in indignity, seven million Kenyans, good people, live in slums in your country. Informal settlements, greatest indignity, no water, no road, no electricity, no toilet, you know? We have 1,410 slums in Kenya. It's not just Kibera. You know, whenever we talk about slums, people think it is Mukuru and Kibera and a few places. 1,410 countrywide. So we need to liberate our people from the indignity of living in slums, number one. Number two, we need to get Kenyans to own a home and for them to do that, we have to have social housing, we have to have affordable housing. We have now reduced, we now will have a unit that will cost 400,000 with a, a tenant purchase of 3,000 shillings a month. And finally, a Kenyan will own a house. You know? We, we've made it look like owning a house is the privilege of the people who have means. We must make it, owning a house is a right for every citizen who lives in our country. Number three, it is our opportunity to grow jobs. In just the last eight months, we now have 120,000 Kenyans working in our housing program. In factories that manufacture cement, factories that manufacture steel, transporters of all the construction equipment, manufacturers of uh, construction products, engineers, architects, plumbers, technicians, um, uh, electricians, including laborers. That's a whole ecosystem of people working. These are people who would otherwise be jobless today. My intention is that we are going to double these numbers by March next year. We are going to triple them by end of next year. And in five years, we will have half a million Kenyans working and the whole country will be a bustling construction site. And much more importantly, as you all know, the amount of land fragmentation that is going on in Kenya is alarming. We have whole counties like Vihiga and Kisi that if we don't do something about it, so shortly, they will become rural slums. We need to reverse land fragmentation. And housing is the tool we have to reverse fragmentation and to give us an opportunity to save the land that we have for production of food and production of other items so that we can drive our food security initiatives, but also provide settlements and housing for our people.
And finally, we will stimulate the whole ecosystem of manufacturing of construction products. Um, recently, I was giving a check of 140 million shillings to, you know, those fellows on Gong Road. You know, those fellows there making furniture there on Gong Road. Those fellows nowadays are entrepreneurs. You know, wale watu mnaona tuni watu jokali. Siku hizi wako noma sana. You know, they are doing for us doors. They are doing for us windows. They are now a company for a housing plan. So, this beautiful project was in the manifesto of Kenya Kwanza. The same housing project, complete with percentages of the levy, was also in the Azimio manifesto. But when it came to implementation, my friends, that is where the devil lives. <laughs> Nobody wanted it implemented. Because we all want to talk about it. It is good. You know, we go tell the people, we are going to do this, we are going to do this. When, we, when hardly people mean it. I am telling you, this time round, I am implementing it. And I am so determined because we must do it. Korea did it. Singapore did it. Uh, Malaysia did it. And that is why they are ahead of us. We know what we must do, but we ha cannot gather the courage to do it. But this time around, whatever it takes, we are going to implement it. We will also give you guys a chance. You don't have now to uh, harass yourself or you are looking for cement, I don't know you are looking for steel, I don't know you are looking for stones to go and build a house. Just log in to Bomayangu. I think it is 832 uh, was uh, Bomayangu. Yeah, uh, Hinga will come and brief you, my peers for uh, uh, housing. You will choose for yourself the house you want. It is the responsibility of the government of Kenya to deliver that house to you. Kaziyako Nikulipa to whatever it is that you need. You don't need to know me, you don't need to know Hinga, you don't need your relative, you don't need your friends, because you know what they do in most cases. So, we will save you the trouble. So, this, I've just given you an example. 